Maybe I should have saved this outfit for my December TBR. It just screams Christmas. It looks very Christmassy. I guess this is still a good video for this because it's the end of the year tag. End of the year means Christmas, means wrapping up the year. <laughs> So that's what we're doing today. Sorry, let me just finalize the angle here. It's gonna be a chill video, so I'm trying to get comfortable. Now I know what I look really warm, and I am because I'm inside, but it's actually pretty chilly outside. Pretty cold outside. Let's see what time what temperature it is. It's currently 58, but it is sunny today. I don't know, I just thought this was really cute. I love this sweater. It's very wintry. Anyways, um, it's been a while since I've filmed anything so I might be a little rusty but sorry my nose is itchy today I'm going to be filming the end of the year tag I'm excited we're gonna talk about some things that happened this year some books that were read this year this is a tag of course it's a tag what <laughs> my brain just lagged for a second I'm sorry so this is a tag video I will link the creator of this tag in the description so you can find her channel because obviously all credit goes to her for coming up with these questions so we have six questions here and we're just gonna go through it do i look awkward just like sitting and staring i feel like i need to sit up at least oh hold on camera's saying i don't have enough storage on the sd card hang on a second my goodness i had a lot of old footage on there but look at my christmas pillow first of all so cute isn't it freaking love these colors in here and it's just like the perfect vibe for this video for this outfit 15 bucks at walmart Pretty cool, huh? Okay, anyways, first of all, I hope you're doing well. Thank you for watching this video. I love you. I know we have lots of new people here, lots of new faces. Hi, my name is Sydney. I am so happy that you're here. Yes, that is all. Okay, <laughs> first question. Are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? Um, not really. I'm very much a completionist. If I start something, it has to be finished like pretty soon. I don't like dragging books on too much if i do they end up just being a dnf like if they don't get finished like pretty soon like pretty right away they're just gone like i'll never pick them up again with one exception i should probably go get these books that's a lot of work because i have to get up and get them no okay we're not gonna do that um we're just gonna talk about it right shoot should i get the books or should i just freaking put them on the screen dang it i'm gonna get the books okay hold on i'm gonna look over these questions and i'm gonna get the books that are my answers i also realized i need to eat because i was feeling quite lightheaded when i was trying to grab those books out so i've got a piece of cheese i'm gonna eat real quick and benji has joined okay i'm sorry we got we're really gonna start for real now. All right, I grabbed six books. The rest I will put up on the screen. So back to the first question. Are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? Like I said, not really, because I'm a completionist. However, the one exception, or yeah, I guess, excuse you, Benji, is Twilight. I started this and I got up to page 130. I just stopped because there were other things that I, you know, wanted to pick up. So I just put this on hold. Definitely going to continue and finish with the series because I have not read the books before. I've not seen the movies before. So I did buy the box set to read the whole series. So I'm obviously not DNFing it, I'm not giving up on it, just taking a break. This one I started like back in June or something. So that one, and then another one is Crooked Kingdom. Don't even remember what page I got up to in this, but I ended up actually DNFing this book because I was just bored. Sorry, I don't like it. <laughs> I probably got like really close to the end, probably right here, which is like 360-ish. And then I just decided to look up the spoilers and figure out what happens because I just didn't want to finish reading the book. It just got boring and I didn't care that much. I will most likely be unhauling this duology because I just didn't like it. I'm sorry, I didn't like it. Also, when I went to pull this off my shelf just now, there was a bug crawling on the pages. So definitely giving it away. And then I guess to kind of interpret this question in a different way, there's just other series in general that I need to finish, which won't be getting finished by the end of the year this will not be getting finished by the end of the year too i don't know when i'm gonna pick it up again but eventually but yeah so more oh what the heck is that glare 
Why is that glare here? Ugh, I just want to film this video. Stop interrupting me, everything. Okay, so yeah, I more so need to finish series rather than books. I'm not in the middle of many books at all. Like, I think Twilight's literally the only one. Okay, next question. Do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? For that, I would say The Nature of Witches by Rachel Griffin. I think this is a great book to read during any time of the year, any season, because this is about a witch, more specifically an ever witch, who has powers with all of the seasons. Kind of reminded me of Avatar, because she's like an airbender, you know, kind of bends nature. All of these like natural disasters, like tornadoes and stuff, and these storms, anyway. So I think this is a great one to pick up anytime, but specifically for the fall, because that's when I read it, just um, earlier this month and the vibes in here are great like it's super atmospheric really love the descriptions it's very ya like the writing so benji's making his appearance super ya so if you don't love that kind of writing maybe not this one and then i don't have another option sorry this is my only option <laughs> this was my only recommendation that i came up with but otherwise looking past the kind of cheesy younger writing I think it's still really fun and enjoyable and yeah definitely great for fall season even winter season any time of year this is a good one to pick up for the vibes question number three is there a new release you're still waiting for okay so i like everybody else am really looking forward to the book you've reached sam everyone i feel like is talking about this everyone's anticipating it i think it just came out a couple days ago i think it's already out but i don't have my hands on a copy of it yet it just sounds really good i've been looking forward to this anticipating this book for months now ever since looking through new releases that were coming out this year this one really stood out to me and it stood out to many others it sounds like a heartbreaking love story it's about a girl whose boyfriend dies and she tries calling him and he doesn't pick up until one time he does pick up. So like that's why it's called You've Reached Sam because it's like his voicemail. But then one time he actually picks up for something, you know? I don't know, it's cute. But also really heartbreaking, I think. So sounds really good. Can't remember the author, I'm so sorry. But then another one I'm anticipating is a thriller that I just recently found out about called Hide by Nell Pattison. And this one is like a murder mystery within a friend group in like a claustrophobic isolated location. Love those. Those are like my favorite tropes for thrillers. And yeah, so it's like following these seven people. One of them is a murderer and it's like got a very snowy atmosphere like i said an isolated location in like the forest or something this is the cover so like i'm just assuming i'm interested in like all of these seven characters that we're gonna follow and how they're all different hopefully it's a pretty good story and that it'll be very interesting but yeah i'm really looking forward to getting my hands on this one i think this one comes out in december so yeah still waiting for that one question number four what are three books you want to read before the end of the year now i have a a whole end of the year TBR video on my channel. If you haven't seen that yet, I talked about 10 books that I wanted to read before the end of the year. It's like, you know, my end of the year TBR. And obviously I'm hoping to read a lot more than just those 10. So I'm gonna give you three other ones that I didn't mention in that video. But in case you haven't seen the end of the year TBR, I will link it so you can go watch that after this video. But let me give you three different books that I want to read just so that I'm not repeating myself. See, one of them I'm actually hoping to start later today so this one's definitely on that list. Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I actually do really need to start this today. Uh, it's gonna be a buddy read with Janelle, so that's really exciting. We buddy read a lot these days, so yeah, this is one of them. And then another one that I want to slash need to read before the end of the year is a major TBR veteran here. We've got one that I just keep putting on my TBR, and I just never end up picking it up and I'm angry that I don't keep picking it up because I don't know why. It's Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman. I don't know why I'm not picking this up because I loved the first book, Scythe. I need to get to this one. I just guess, I just guess, what? I guess it's just a little big and daunting. It is a little big and daunting, so maybe that's why I'm not picking it up. Although I'm picking up lots of other big and daunting books. So I don't know what's holding me back from actually reading this one. Seriously need to get to it so I can finish the series. Like this is one of those series that I need to finish. Yeah, there's even a bookmark in here waiting for me to get to it. I need to get to it. I'm really excited to. Like, 
I really am. So I'm hoping maybe next month, if I can squeeze it into November, that would be great. But you know, then if not, definitely in December because it needs to get read before the end of the year. And then I also want to prioritize the next book, the third book in the new year. So yeah, this one. And then um, a third, nope, a third book. Um, I freaking hate making threes with my fingers. I hate it. Three, does that look weird? Does that look natural? Three? My fingers are crooked, so I hate throwing my hands up in camera even though I do it a lot. And my nose won't stop itching. This is a very messy, chaotic video, I'm sorry. Third book I want to read before the end of the year is Razorblade Tears by S.A. Cosby. I'm really intrigued by this one. It is a book of the month book. It is one of the books on book of the month, but I did end up getting it as an ebook and audiobook because every time I see it in stores, I feel like it's really expensive and I don't really need more physical books that's what uh, I'm doing for that's what I'm going to do for that one is get the is read the ebook and listen to the audiobook to follow along razorblade tears sounds really interesting it's about these two dads who seek revenge on their sons who were murdered I believe that is what I've heard about it sounds really interesting because I love thrillers you know sounds like a good book so now that I have it through Libby on my phone through the library app I need to get to it before that loan is up so that I don't return it before actually reading it. So I have a little over two weeks to read that book. So hopefully I'm getting to that one in November. That is that question. Number five, is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? Now this is interesting because I don't no, like obviously it's possible, but I did read lots of good books this year that I really love and favor. At this point now, it's become like the nostalgia factor, the nostalgic factor to these books, why they're my favorite because of the time that I read them in. So I have a really strong attachment to my favorite books of the year so far now, just because of how I felt when I read the books, right? So I think that factors into a lot of why they're my favorite books at this point. Objectively, you know, my, they might not be the most amazing books, but they just feel like that because of those reasons. But if there were to be one book that could really shock me, take me by surprise, and be a favorite of the year, be my all time, my to be the favorite book of the year, I don't know, that's really hard. That's really hard. If there's any book that I think could do that, it would definitely be Blindsided by Karen Slaughter because as I've already mentioned now and I'm sure a lot of you know because I talk about it all the time my favorite genre is thriller and I love really twisted intense gruesome TMI thrillers so that's what I've heard about Karen Slaughter not read one of her books before but I have faith that this one could really knock my socks off because I know Karen Slaughter is known for her intense writing and storylines okay so she goes she goes a little crazy Ew, I just squished a bug. It's a freaking gnat that just, <laughs> a gnat just landed on that book down there. So I just took this book and swatted it. And now look, it's right there on her eyeball. Ew. Gross, I just slaughtered that gnat. I slaughtered it. That's disgusting. Ew, it's all. Somebody get me a napkin. I'm not getting up for a seventh time for this video. I'm not going to do that. So the bug's just gonna chill there until the end of the video, okay? Yeah, uh, um, Karen Slaughter is intense. So that's what I'm really looking forward to with this book. I think it can be so thrilling that it'll become a favorite because I love that. Like, I just love it. It's never too much for me. Like, honestly, thrillers can never be too scary for me. I just love, 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 love thrillers. And if they're just like insane, and even sometimes unrealistic, like I just love it. I eat that shit up. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. If my little brother is watching, you didn't hear that. I eat that up. Okay, I eat that up. I think it will be a favorite, whether it's my most favorite, if it's my number one, I don't know, we'll see. But if any book is going to do that, that's on my radar for the end of the year, on my TBR for the end of the year, it's gonna be that one, I think, you know? I don't know, I think, okay. Um, and then final question number six, have you already started making reading plans for next year? Yes Yes, I have some exciting news actually the reason I'm 
starting to I've already started the reason I've started to plan my reading for next year my goals for next year is first of all I am just that type of person to really plan ahead and to constantly be thinking about how I want to improve in the future even just like with new months but especially with new years it's just really exciting time for me but also because I'm going to be on a podcast and I'm really excited because that's what the topic is for the episode that I'm guest starring on the podcast is called talk bookish to me and it's hosted by Gwen Kensinger Kensinger. Ah, I always like get dyslexic when I look at her last name. So let me just verify that that's what it is. Gwen Kensinger. Yes, she is Gwendolyn Kensinger on YouTube. It's her podcast. She is hosting it. And she asked me if I wanted to be a guest star. And so I was like, yes. And I chose to guest star on the episode talking about how 2021 went in terms of reading and our goals that we set. And then also talking about our new goals for the new year. So I'm really excited to be talking about that on her podcast definitely check it out and keep your eyes peeled for when that episode comes out in december um but yeah that's a little exciting news so because of all that i have just rude ice maker i have started thinking about my reading plans and goals for next year and i'm really really excited for them so i'm not gonna get too much into them because if you want to know you can listen to the podcast episode that's gonna come out i think i might also make some sort of video to post here on youtube but i will be going more in depth on what i want to do what my plans are for the new year in the podcast episode so definitely look forward to that. But yeah, okay, so that's it for the questions. That is the end of the year tag. I'm really excited to finish out the rest of this year strong. I still got lots of books that I need to get to, but you know, I have faith that we can do it. But yeah, okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in another one very soon. Bye.